saying, I'm with Stephanie Hardy from Bastion Solutions, and they've got a lot going on in this booth, plus a new product announcement. Stephanie, tell us what you're, you're up to here. We are so excited. So Monday, day one of Promat, right at 10.30, we launched our CV18 autonomous guided forklift. We're very excited. How would you use this technology? What, where, what kind of warehouses would we see this applied to? I mean, really distribution centers, production facilities, um, manufacturing facilities, anywhere you need some extra help moving pallet loads. It goes up to 14 feet high, which I want to say is probably the highest of the AGFs in the market right now. Um, completely autonomous, uh, does double stacks of pallets as well. I always thought of Bastion as an integrator, but obviously you're making a lot of great stuff too. We do both. We work with so many great partners, but there's a few key things that we manufacture ourselves. So we just kind of find the right opportunity and bring it all together for the customer. So Bastion Solutions, we actually have our own WES, so warehouse execution software called okay. Exacta. Um, so not only can we provide all of the technology that you need, we definitely want to make sure that it's all talking, it's all functioning seamlessly, speaking to the WMS, just a complete end-to-end -end solution. So my WMS would keep track of what inventory do I have, and I would send the orders down, and then your WES would execute those orders. Exactly. Yes. Wow. Got it. Great. Well, Stephanie, thanks so much for telling us all about Bastion. Yeah, thanks for stopping Have tonight. a great show. Thank you. So we're here at Six River Systems booth, my former employer. Tara Sargentson is gonna tell us a little bit about um, what's going on at the booth here. But before we do that, talk about the naming of the company. It's kind of a cool story. Yeah, it's a really cool story. So we're based out of uh, Boston, Massachusetts, and because of the Six Rivers that feed into it, that is um, part of why we decided to name the company Six River Systems as they come together. Awesome, yeah. I love that. What a great story. <laughs> so um, behind us, we've got um, chucks running around doing picking, um, but also some other technologies. What else could people see if they come by the booth here? Right, yeah, so Chris, we are um, showcasing our mobile handheld held device for the first time, and people can come through and do a demo and see that the opportunity for items that don't necessarily fit on our chuck that are larger and how we can use our technology to uh, showcase that. So Tara was telling us how you can have picks on chuck and off chuck. Um, and we have a really interesting story here where the girl is getting a bicycle and a horn and a helmet for her birthday. Of course, the horn and the helmet are gonna fit on Chuck and we'll see those be picked. But how do we make sure that order gets together, Robert? So it's dropped down to us as one aggregate order and we evaluate the product profile. And if it's chuckable, we'll pick it on Chuck. If it's oversized like the bike, we'll pick it elsewhere using our handheld device, using the pallet jack, other MHE, et cetera. So Six River is making happy birthdays all across America. That's our all, goal. All across the world. That's our goal. Awesome. folks it is Wednesday and we're at the pickle booth the doors just open and people are here just to buy pickle robots they're lined up <laughs> this is Andrew Meyer we're gonna get our own exclusive view of how the pickle um, system works but as I understand it you guys are focused on trailer unloading that's right in fact we're the only uh, booth that I can see at the show where it says what we do right on the table it says pickle robots unload trucks right on our sign on the ceiling so what you're looking here is four different technologies that we've spent the last four years building. Okay. You were a four-year-old startup company out of MIT. And so the first technology is the vehicle itself. So you see the robot drives in and out of the container on its own, loaded with sensors, cameras, LIDAR, lasers, pressure sensors. The second piece of technology is our perception system. So we generate an insane amount of data. And all that data needs to be uh, compiled into some kind of representation that we can make sense of for the third piece of technology, which we call motion planning. So that's deciding which box to pick up, where to pick it from the front, from the top, from the side, and how to get it to the conveyor. And then the fourth piece of technology, which is not as obvious, we call box inference. So imagine we don't know what a box weighs, we don't necessarily know how big it is before we pick it up, but we learn over time to associate visual cues on the box, like the size, the coloring, any labels, uh, so we can make really good guesses about what it might weigh and what size it might be. Okay, that's it. Andrew, I really appreciate it. All right, we're here with Steven from Galaxis, and he's gonna tell us about their, this is a narrow aisle pallet system. This is uh, our new product launched this year, and uh, this, this product is high, about two uh, 60.6 feet, 
and also it can carry to one ton uh, uh, things. I'm really impressed with the Cyberlift behind us, but also the other products you told me about that you don't have here um, because the booth is, is small and this is your introduction to the United yeah. States. Yeah. But you have the four-way um, shuttle, yeah. you have the pallet shuttle, yeah. and you have AMRs. Yeah. Quite a lot to tackle, but I guess with a thousand people you can yeah. do that. So I hope you find the right launch customer for yeah. in the US for yeah. this product. And um, thanks for talking to us thank today. You, thank you. Thank All you. right. Thank you. I'm here with Mike Futch, president of Tompkins Robotics, and they've got some exciting new products that they're introducing at Promat 23. Um, Mike, tell me about um, the two-level T-Sword and what you've got going on here. So we have this new induction system that we call our induction lift. We took our 3D crane and made it stationary, put them side by side, and now we can do a large single batch pick instead of separate picks for different levels of our T-Sword system and the operator puts them in at an adjustable ergonomic height. Can we take a look at the 3D model? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go. It's a T-Sort 3D. The 3D T-Sort. Right. So it's just working in three dimensions. Three dimensions. X, Y, and Z planes. X, Y, and Z. Got it. So, and you can go up to 10,000 yes. sort points, like, which like, is just massive. It's phenomenal. Tell us about this. So this is our new offering, new product launch we did here at Promat. It's called PicPal, and it's a pick assist AMR, much like other players in the market. And there's a Pick Pal, which is behind me, and there's a Pick Pal Plus, which is across our booth, which is more of the size of a Six River type machine. The Pick Pal is interesting. Let's go, can we take a look at the Pick Pal Plus? Most definitely, it's right around the corner. All right. This is the Big Pal Plus. It has a larger capacity, both in orders that can be processed and weight capacity compared to the Big Pal. And then, just to give you a plug, we don't have it in the booth here, but we also have a pallet pick version that we call the Big Pal XL, and it's for pallet picking for cases. Mike, I think it might be easier to talk about the things you don't have than the things you do have. There's a lot going on at Tompkins Robotics. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thank you so much, Chris. Have a great day. So guys, we're at um, the South Hall at 5118 Accutech Packaging. We were here on Sunday. Mike's got some really cool stuff that he's announcing. And everywhere we go in this... Uh, uh, at Promat, there's an AccuTech machine every time I turn around. This machine, we, we've sold a similar system to this that runs poly. And our poly bagging systems run 80% recycled film, so really a good sustainable offering. But there are a lot of people that are saying, customers don't understand that poly is recyclable. And it really isn't as recyclable as paper. Paper is curbside recycled. It can be put in with newspapers or corrugated. So the end user is saying, I want to take in a package that I can actually just put in my newspapers and really truly recycle. I actually thought this was plastic when he first picked it up. Mike, this is paper. This, this is incredible. Is, this is paper, curbside recyclable. One advantage to this paper for most operations at DCs, etc. Paper travels better on roller conveyors, belt conveyors. And, uh, and during the shipping process, whether it be UPS, FedEx, or USPS, the label stays intact. Some poly packaging, the, the, lab the label gets wrinkled, and at a big hub, that might get rejected, and it may be an orphan for some period of time. All right, thanks, Mike. Swiss Log booth, and I'm joined by James Sharples. James is in charge of global business acceleration. I mean, that is, that's um, impressive in and of itself, but I've yeah. been impressed with a couple of products here, and you've got a new product announcement as well. So James, tell us what you're gonna show us here in the Swiss Log booth. Yeah, so today we're really the launching the carry. We're introducing this week a new, a new model of our um, carry pick AMR vehicle. So we have a great stand showing the flexibility of carry pick handling a range of different products, even hanging garments, but really suited to a, wide, a much wider range than a kind of your traditional toad-based solution. Um, that's based around our Cyclone Shuttle, and then we have our Ropax, so our fully automated 
mixed case palletizing solution. Um, and those are right behind us, James. Can we yeah. take a look? Yes, of course, yeah. So James, tell us about the, um, the Cyclone shuttle. What makes it different from the other shuttles that are available on the market? So it's, it's um, really flexible. We have two models. We have a fixed width solution, which we use really with our, uh, where we're handling kind of plastic totes, um, standard totes. And then we have a, a one with a flexible load handling device. We can be up to triple D, four D, um, and we use it for our AC pack solution using our trays. And then we can get really high density storage, high throughput, and high availability within the system. Amazing. Well, thank you, James. Thank you. So I'm here with Armando Gonzalez from Bosch Rexroth, and we're in the South Hall coming to booth. 418. 418. About a year ago, we formulated a, a, a partnership, strategic partnership with Geek Plus, a global leader in uh, autonomous mobile vehicles. And what we're showcasing is our collaboration with the Bosch Locator localization software that's integrated into the uh, MP1000R, which is a one ton payload capacity autonomous mobile robot. It's an underwriter solution, so it would travel underneath your, your payload lift it with an integrated lift that lifts your load about 660 uh, millimeters. Armando, why would someone buy this system from you as opposed to Geek Plus or vice versa? I'm curious. As a 200 year old company, we're a one-stop shop for innovation, right? particularly in the industrial market. Right? We have devices such as um, linear, uh, linear technology, um, controls, uh, drives, as well as conveyance. And as you see the, the workstation here that our AMR is actually um, pulling or, or delivering um, is developed by Bosch. It's our own profile, so we can build to suit. Armando, thank you very much. That's hey, really exciting, I appreciate it. Good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you, happy day. So that's a wrap for day three, Wednesday, March 22nd at Promat 23. What a great day, lots of cool technology. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying watching us as well. Again, if you see anything you think that we missed, let us know. We've got one more day tomorrow, Thursday. Um, shoot me a text, send me an email. You can email me at chris at robotadvisorygroup.com and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.